Hey guys, it's Aris from NFR. We're right here with one of the NFR members. You've probably seen this beautiful car before. Officer, please, the license plate, that's the Lexus RCF. We're right downtown, you can look at, at the back, a beautiful skyline of downtown Toronto. And I'm gonna quickly introduce you guys to our buddy Paul and talk about his build. Doing, Paul? Good man, how are you? Pretty good. So Paul, so what we what's got here? going on here? 2015 Lexus RCF. I built this about uh, almost four, four years now. Yeah, four years. Um, hit it up with the NFR guys on the first rally there. That was about two years ago. We, um, we hit up across the states. There was about 100, 120 cars when we hit up uh, New York. We hit up uh, PC rally and um, I had a full tribal wrap on the car. This year I'm going to do something a little bit different. Darker tones, full custom wrap again. NFR is going to be broadcasting. You know, it's going to say all the sponsors on the car. It's going to stand out. We've got new carbon fiber trims coming around all the car. Canards, side canards, rear spoiler. It's going to look pretty sleek. So what inspired you to go with a Lexus? You know what? At the time, I wanted to build something that no one had, mm -hmm. something new. The RCF just came out. No one had the Rocket Bunny kit. So I was like, all right, let's do it. You know, first Rocket Bunny kit in the world on an RCF. I thought it'd be pretty cool. I took my chances. And this is still the only RCF in all of Canada with a wide body kit. Yes, yeah, as far as my knowledge, it's the only Rocket Bunny RCF in Canada. And there's only three others in the States? From what I know, yeah, we've got uh, one in Las Vegas, one in Cali, one in Florida. Wow, so this, what you're looking at right now is unique. And now, hold up, I'm looking at this license plate, officer, please. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, so I used to have a few cars before this, uh, G35 Infinity. Um, I was getting pulled over every other day, man. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna change my license plate, what can I come up with? And I was like, you know what, officer, please. I get pulled over, I'm like, you know what, officer, please, come on, man. You know, that's what people think it means, <laughs> but no, it's more like, officer, please, come on. Let me go. Just let me go. Don't waste my time, you know? It's, uh, it's rolled out pretty cool. The cops love it. I don't get bothered anymore. Oh, that's it's, amazing. It's grown a lot of attention. Yeah, because cars like these 100%, even when they're on the road, yeah. they catch a lot of attention. It does. Good and bad, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell us about this build? You know what? And how long did it take you? We built it pretty quick. Um, we got all the parts in. The car was ready to go. Auto Matrix in Toronto put the whole car together in about a week and a half. Oh, we, wow. got it, we got it wrapped and, and it was ready to hit the shows right away. Um, the biggest part was getting all the parts ready before the car because since this was the first kit going on a car, we, we wanted to make sure it was actually going to fit mm -hmm. fit properly. Yeah. Um, and everything came together really well. It was, it was a great build, I enjoyed it all. It's a nice V8, 5 liter, it's pushing about 520 horsepower. Um, full custom exhaust. BC coilovers, it's all track set, four wheel aligned. Once it once a year, it's it's a ground hard. When it goes, it goes. Yeah. yeah. So what's the fastest you've taken it? Obviously uh, on a track in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, track in Mexico at about 310 kilometers an hour. 310. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, man. That's amazing. You gotta keep it on the keep it on the track. So always, always, man. You know, and far we always safety first. Safety, safety first, guys. first, guys. Always. Perfect. So it was a pleasure meeting yeah, yeah. you, Paul. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much See you for on coming the rally, out. For oh, 100%. Sure. So guys, I'm sure you guys want to hear how this thing sounds. So we're going to get Paul to go start this thing up. Let's check it out.
sorry guys, as you know, we've been dropping content like dollar dollar bills. So we're gonna be bringing out more and more content and a lot of these cars, we enjoy them. And we wanna bring it out to you to show you what it's like to have a car like that, to build a car from scratch. This was just a stock RCF that he had, but he had a vision with it and he built it into something beautiful. Hey Reese, how's it going man? Nice to see you again. Yo! Where are we today, man? What's going on? So today's a little different. We're in Mississauga today. Uh, a little little meetup. I think it was BMW and Porsche, True Canada. Uh, hey. Mercedes Benz True North was here too. Who cares about them though? <laughs> True. Shots fired. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, a bunch of NFR members came out today. We got a couple more coming. We got a 720S. Brent Paul's actually coming too. Uh, my car's here. Ken's car is here as well. Uh, so this is Yo, Vito's car. It's that. A, Check that out. We got a GTRS. GT3 RS actually. It does not speak English properly, fam. Anyways, so it's a 16 M4. It's on airlift 3P. It's tastefully modified, honestly. Look at the grill. The grill is carbon fiber. It's got the carbon fiber canards and the front lip, everything. It's really nice. And I love it. It's pearl white. Uh, it's sitting on Boston BC4. It's sitting on Boston BC4s. Uh, he's got the red uh, interior as well. Uh, it's the hard top, drop top. Carbon fiber side skirts. He's got a stage two plus two intakes. Uh, honestly, beautiful car. If I was to pick something other than my Alpha, I would have honestly driven one of these. They're so sleek and they're very, very sleeper. Isn't this the first bag M4? Also, in yes, Canada? this is the first bag M4, M4 in Canada. And probably the, best hey, looking you know, probably the best looking M4 in all of Canada. Just look at his beauty. Just the top. Yeah. So wait a minute. Vito's here. He's gonna open the drop top and show you his bag setup and everything. It's honestly so crazy how it's all set up. Uh, above and beyond, I don't even know what something like this would cost. Like three, four, five thousand dollars, man. It's insane. I love how it's like it's it's like folding. You know what I mean? And then it goes into the trunk. Look at that, man. Insane. Look at this blood red interior. Honestly, you can't get enough of something like this. He's got the, he's got the full uh, gloss carbon inside there, wet carbon. Look how clean this is. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that, boys. You don't see that every day, do you? Chop Shop. They always do a really good job. They've done, they've done uh, Andy's GTR as well. A bunch of other Harpreet, uh, the, the C63, the black one on bags. Very, 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 very good job they do, man. Honestly, it's worth a pretty penny. Let's get Bobby because he knows more about cars than I do. He's gonna talk a little more about. So what? You calling me a JDM fanatic? Oh yeah. It's cool. I kind of. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, well, it's a 2011. Did VTEC kick in though? No VTEC. People don't like you talking, right? They like me talking. <laughs> Anyways, it's a 2011 GTR, uh, 3.8 twin turbo, obviously. So this is uh, our member Tan, Tan Budwell, Desi Auto, as you can see right here. Got his own shop. Uh, so yeah, it's, it, it's modified heavily. It makes about 600 to the wheels, so about 780 crank. I knew that. Uh, it's got full bolt-on. It's got the Varus V2 kit. Honestly, like, just get a shot of this body kit, man. It's actually insane. Looking at this thing, it's crazy. Yeah. 